You know when we use a compass, there's two things we need to consider. The first thing is called variation. Now variation is the difference in the magnetic field around the Earth. Uh, it's constantly changing. So no matter where you are on the, on the world, on the globe, uh, it's going to give you a different reading. So it's affected, our compass is affected by this thing called variation. When we think of a compass, it's pointing north. It's pointing at magnetic north not the North Pole. So our charts are orientated to true north, to the North Pole. But our compass is pointing at magnetic north, which is in a different location. We have to make account for that and make allowance for that when we're navigating. If we take a close look at the compass rows on the chart, and we have a close look into the centre of the rows, it's giving us a set of numbers. These numbers represent the variation, the difference between the chart, true north, and magnetic north at a specific time. So to use this information that we get from the compass rows, 6 degrees 35 minutes west in 2003, with a difference annual decrease from west of 10 minutes to the east. Firstly, Given that the year is 2021, the original information is 2003, that's 18 years. We then multiply 18 by 10, which is here, the 10 minutes to the east. That gives us 180, or 180 minutes. Then we need to convert. So we divide 180 by 60, and that gives us 3. Then, from our original number, from the rows, 6 degrees, 35 minutes, we minus 3 degrees. We're left with 3 degrees, 35 minutes. 3 is 3 degrees, 35 minutes. This becomes 4 degrees because it's closer to 4 degrees than it is to 3 degrees. So we round it up to make it 4. Therefore, our variation is four degrees to the west. The second factor we need to consider is deviation. Now deviation occurs when the magnetic field is disrupted by a lot more local interference and that's parts of the boat. So it could be things like the engine or uh, instruments, uh, navigation instruments, um, the radio, uh, the GPS, even radar it can all have an effect on our compass. Uh, so we need to know how that's affected as well and make allowance for that for when we're moving. For our lessons, we are given a compass deviation card. This guy. Most big, big boats have these and they're made by rotating a boat through 360 degrees. They would use another compass uh, there is a compass called a gyro compass or else another compass that isn't greatly affected, maybe on a different position on the boat. An example of this would be if I pass something close to a compass like this one. This compass would just represent any kind of ship's compass. I'm going to use a pen. So I'm just going to move a pen in front of the compass. And you can see very easily how the metal of a pen can disrupt that magnetic field. The same here can be used in a hand bearing compass and by interfering it with a pen again, you can see how it disrupts the reading. Even a pair of glasses can create a deviation. So now that we have this information, we can apply that now to our chart after a simple enough calculation. So now we need to put all this together. Some of the information I've worked out, this is our variation from earlier on, so four degrees. So let's say, let's make an example. Say for instance, I'm at the previous location from another lesson. And I'm actually physically at this point. I get out my compass 
or my compass on my boat and I take a sight over to here and I see through my compass lens that I have a reading of 0, 015 degrees. Okay? So 0, 1, 5 degrees. Okay? Now to work out the true heading, there's a few things I need to know. So from going from a compass reading, okay, a compass reading, okay, to a true reading, there's a path to do it. There is a handy way to remember it too. So if I go from compass, I need to add east to a handy word there called cadet. Okay, so I'm going to just draw a line here and a line here to help me. Okay. I need to add east, subtract west. And on this way, I subtract the east, if I'm going from true to compass, and add west. Okay, so here we go. We have our compass heading here, and we're reading 0, 1, 5 degrees. Next, I have to take into account for the deviation, okay? So I have my deviation card here, and I look along the side for 0, 1, 5. I drop all the way down here. You can see it's 0 0.45 to 0. So half of that would be 0 0.22.5. So split it down into the middle and go across to here, follow the line, and it's giving me one degree to the east. So one degree east. This tells me, okay, that in my deviation, I need to add east. So now I have a magnetic reading, a magnetic reading of 0, 1, 6 degrees, okay? Now that I have my magnetic, I need to apply my variation. So my variation is zero or is four degrees to the west. And what does it tell me here? It tells me I need to subtract the west. So now, my answer, my true answer, is 0, 1, 2 degrees. So this is my answer. So the difference between my compass and my true is 3 degrees. Now, let's say I'm trying to plot a course for myself. I need to take into account all this. So this time, I've taken my plotter. And from that original location again, I want to see what's going on between the two here. Okay, so I set up my uh, Portland plotter from point A to point B to the place I'm looking at. And I line my wheel up to the grid of the chart. So I try to find myself some straight lines. Okay. And I have a true bearing there now of 0, 1, 2 degrees. So I now have a true reading from my chart of 0, 1, 2 degrees. The first thing I need to allow for is my variation. So our variation is 4 degrees to the west. And what does it tell me now? This time I'm going from true to compass. I need to add the west, okay? So now I am add to west. So my mag is now 0, 1, 6 degrees. Then I need to take account for my deviation. And I have a look at my deviation card again. And that brings me down to one degree to the east. So one degree to the east. What does it tell me here? From true to compass, I need to subtract it. So now I have a compass heading of 0, 1, 5 degrees. So when I steer to that point on the chart, I'll be using my compass and steering 0, 1, 5. 
and that's me allowing for variation and deviation.